Hello everyone and welcome back to another Rise of Kingdom video. This is your boy Legend Ronnie and today we have a preparation for war on my account in Kingdom 1682. We got our pass for opening today and I got to get my commanders up to speed. I got to get my equipment up to speed. So there's definitely going to be a lot of fun in this video and we're going to play with some materials and some sculptures and let's see which are going to be the five marches that I'm going to use for our pass for opening. First thing first, let's get into the commanders. Let's get some commanders upgraded because I have 1,103 sculptures. There's quite a lot of sculptures that we can play around with. My first thought process was to max skill Scipio. I didn't max skill Scipio on any of my accounts yet. But for a very long time, I am thinking of having garrison commanders or on each and every of my account. This is one thing that I am lacking on all my accounts. They are all good field fighting, rallying accounts, but none of them have a garrison. And this is my thought process now. Because a little bit things are kind of piling up together, to be honest, I'm, let's say, in a bit of a lag. We got Flavius Aetius in the Mightiest Governor, and I already got a max skill Zenobia on this account. So I'm thinking to not spend all my Universal Sculptures on just maxing Commanders and save some for Flavius Aetius. Because this is the Cav MG, and we have Flavius, and two weeks from now... Or the next MG is going to be Flavius Aetius again. So I have a high chance of getting a lot of sculptures from Flavius. And if I add a little bit of Universal, then I'll be able to have a super dope garrison for our Pass 7 opening or Kingsland. That way I can also know how good they are exactly once I will be able to test them in KVK. My equipment is not going to be the best. My crystal tech will be more than okay, but I'm pretty sure that these two commanders will be badass. And if we want to think like that, universal sculptures, you can always use them. This is the beauty of having a lot of universal sculptures. You just simply press upgrading skill and it takes a couple of seconds. And if you really want to spend your universal sculptures, you'll probably do it in less than a minute. CPU Africanus is level 60. Let's go ahead and let's skill him up. To be honest, I like his primary three skills. His four skill is really good, but this is something I might just not need right now. So I'm going to lock skill his fourth. I'm going to save this like that. And I'm going to upgrade his first three skills to five. Right, so now my CPO is level 60, 5551. Five, five, I'm gonna have to do his talent tree. So this is gonna be my CPO talent tree as well as I've done in his uh, commander spotlight. If you want to know more details about this, you wanna make sure and go check that video out. Now that CPO is done, I have to get Alexander done. And going on to his talents, this is gonna be my Nevsky talent tree. I really like this talent tree, to be honest, with Feral Nature. Usually, whenever I do commanders that have a skill talent tree, I go for the Feral Nature. I've also done a dedicated video specifically for Nevsky. So if you want to go ahead and, and check that one out, it will be more in details about pairings and talent trees. It is time to upgrade his skills because Alexander Nevsky definitely needs a little bit more skill up. To save more of my universals, I decided to go a little bit more in spinning for Nevsky. I already went to 70. I'm going to skip animation and I'm going to go to 100. It's going to be really quick. So I think that was a pretty bad decision that I took. Okay, so this one was for sculptures. That was really good. All right, so we got another sculptures. That's five sculptures. That's six sculptures, seven sculptures. And the last five is going to give me an eight. No, that's 8 sculptures plus 15 that I get from 100. That's quite a decent amount of sculptures. And I spent like 20 and something gems. Probably 
might have been better to keep my gems but right now i kind of need the sculptures and i'll still have enough gems when it's gonna be in the weekend the more than gems now something interesting about nevsky and his skills i still need to fix this nevsky a little bit i'm not sure if 5355 is exactly what i want even though he has quite a little less march speed skill damage 15 percent and then when triggered another 25 percent to be honest, it doesn't sound that bad, a 5-3-5-3 Nevsky. I'm just thinking about not spending my reset because in the end I will max Nevsky anyway. It's the same thing with Artemisia. People were asking me, why don't you do a 5-5-1-5 five, five, five Artemisia? It's for the same reason. It's because these commanders will be maxed 100%. Because in the future, I want a monitor as well. So I got big plans for this account. They are all layered out. <laughs> so all the sculptures that I can get or save will definitely help out. So I'm thinking that this Nevsky will stay like this. Now, part of preparation for war is definitely forging equipment. So I'm going to forge the equipment that I want to forge. And after that, I'm also going to show you how my commanders will be equipped and how I'm doing my five marches for the field. Ring of Doom is going to be the first one. I'm not waiting any longer. I'm just going to press Forge. Yes, and it didn't went with Special. So this is my third ring on this account that didn't went with Special. That's a little bit of a bummer. And now the second thing I want to forge is going to be a pair of these pants. And I hope that... Um, Maybe these ones will go with special. So let's forge this pair of pants and eat one with special. Yes. I'm not sure why these pants go with special so easily. And obviously it's going to be infantry. That's really nice. That's definitely a very nice feeling right there. And if I want to forge and that's it. Yeah, no more forging. And I have two special talented which I haven't used Iconic. I still haven't decided on this account with Iconic. I'm still saving my Iconic. So now that I finally equip my five marches, my five leading marches, let me just show the equipment. This is going to be my equipment on Saladin. This is my Guan Yu with the fresh panties that he just got, the legendary one with special talent. He's finally lo looking a little bit more shining. And then I got Ramses as well. A lot of epic because this is a low spender account. But in the end, all these epics will go away on this account as well. Just give it another 6-8 months. So this is my third march. And then you have Scipio Africanus, which is going to be my fourth march. And you have Nevsky, which is going to be my fifth march. Now let me show you the pairings. So now my five marchers are finally out and let me just uh, show them to you. I have Nevsky with Mehmed. I have the troops capacity and attacks. There's going to be quite a decent amount of AOE. This is the reason why I wanted the four skill of Nevsky to be maxed because it would just empower the AOE of Mehmed a lot more. You're probably thinking could have gone with uh, YSG, could have gone with uh, something else. But to be honest, YSG is specific for archers. I used Xi and Mehmed on my other accounts and it's working really well. So I'm pretty sure Nevsky and Mehmed will work as well. Then I want to keep Trajan on the field. And I also want to keep William on the field. So these things could have been a little bit switched around. If I wanted to do, for example, Scipio and Mehmed, I could have done that. And I could have done Nevsky and William and go with Saladin and Trajan. That could have worked as well. That would have been a very nice combination. But putting Scipio first, I have a feeling that he will be a target. And the 20% defense and health that I get from Trajan and the other defense from the 4 skill of Trajan I think will definitely be needed, plus the extra troops capacity. So I prefer to go with extra troops capacity and more defense on CPU. And this is the reason why, why I went with extra troops capacity on Nevsky as well. If people will see Nevsky, we'll go for him. Saladin and William, Guan and Alex, Ramses and Nebu. And when I'm going to unlock my 6th March is going to be Artemisia and YSG. I already have the equipment for my Artemisia. I just need to unlock the March. 
So that will be the six marches that I will do. And like I was mentioning earlier, the only thing that I might just switch around, I might just put William with Nevsky and put uh, Mehmed maybe with uh, Scipio and do Sardin and Trajan or just something that will work like that. If you want to see how these marches performed on the field, make sure to tune in the live stream with the level 4 pass opening and I'll make sure to show some reports during the live stream or if I'm posting this video after the live stream, then make sure to go and check the live stream and then you will know how well did ma these marches performed. Until next time, this is your boy Geroni signing off. Peace out, you and take care. See you on the next one and stay safe out there, my friends. Thank <laughs> you.